Hi everyone, what I'm going to do today is to show you how I sew a, a Raya Raga on a backing using a stick. The backing that I'm working with is a Finnish style of backing and it's a lot lighter than the um, <coughs> some of the Norwegian ones that you get. <coughs> and these types of Raya are not designed for floor use, they're mainly used as wall hangings or tapestries or pillow covers or even blankets because the, the wool is very soft and uh, very lightweight to use. Now I normally do not cut all of my yarn into equal lengths because sometimes I do big pieces and sometimes I do short pieces and long pieces and I like to have the yarn afterwards that I can use for other projects as well. So what I'm going to do is just uh, pull off a length that I think is will be right for what I'm doing right now. It's probably about an arm's length. And this particular Ryumatu uses four strands of yarn. So I'm pulling off four lengths of the same color in this particular thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in this space here because I've got little points coming up and um, I'm only going to, I'm going to be uh, stitching them going up in a, in a vertical fashion. Normally when you, when you sew a ruyu, you do a uh, lengthwise um, landscape version rather than going up. But in this particular case, because I'm only doing one stitch at a time, I'm just going to take a short row up. And that's all. First I'm going to throw this, thread the needle. I make all of these about the same length when I start the first stitch. And then the first stitch is going to go right there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera very well. Goes through that on the left hand side of that, of the warp thread. I pull this to about the right length and then I pick up on the right hand side and it ties that knot around the two warps firmly. Then I put the ruler down so that I get the right length for the next one. I lay it over top and I pick up the next stitch. I pick up the other side of that stitch. Take the ruler out and move it up a row. And I pick up that one. And the next, pull that tight. And then, I, I, then I'm going to be picking up this one here. And the other form the rest of that knot. Pull the stick out, move it up, pick up the two warp threads on the left hand side, and then the corresponding on the right hand side. that up. Now the nice thing about using the stick is that it keeps all these other uh, pre-cut raya knots out of your way otherwise if, you, if you're not using a stick then they can often get tangled up in what you're doing and make a bit of a mess so that kind of keeps the, them from bothering you while you knit. There. And then when that's done, lift the stick up and then cut a little bit longer than the, the length of the stick. Pull that out. Pull all these tightly into place 
and then cut the loops. I tend to cut the loops as I'm working because otherwise um, it gets to be very tedious to cut a whole rug of knots afterwards and if you make a mistake and cut it too short or something it's easy to just put in another thread into that place. Right. That's it.